How to use arrow keys on 60 keyboard. Hi what's up everyone, in this video we will discuss how to use arrow keys on 60 keyboard that you can buy on Amazon. This list is based on my personal opinion and research and lists them based on quality features and pricing. I have prepared this video guide for how to use arrow keys on 60 keyboard. So let's get started. Many people like using 60% keyboards as they're compact and ergonomic with less area to cover. Of course, these advantages have drawbacks, notably a reduced number of keys. Some critical keys, such as arrow keys, may be missing for many models. You can use arrow keys on some 60% keyboards via dedicated arrow keys. If your keyboard doesn't have dedicated arrow keys, it will most likely have keys that share arrow key functions or key combinations that work as arrow keys. You can also remap keys on your keyboard to function as arrow keys. In this article, I'll discuss each option in more detail. So, if you want to learn more about using arrow keys on a 60% keyboard, read on. Keyboards don't have a single universal standard, even within distinct size categories. For instance, a full-sized keyboard can have between 100 and 110 keys, depending on the design and manufacturer. Moreover, even within this range, variations abound. The American National Standards Institute stipulates a layout with 104 keys for a full-sized keyboard. On the other hand, the International Organization for Standardization or ISO layout has 105 keys, and the Japanese Industrial Standard, JIS, layout has 108 keys. And that's just for full-sized keyboards. The differences in standards between keyboards, even when similar-sized, gives individual manufacturers some leeway in choosing which keys to include and which ones to omit in each model. Consumers may also have different preferences based on where they come from or how they use their keyboards. For instance, accountants will prioritize a well-laid-out number pad, and gamers will want arrow or directional keys to be easily located. While compact keyboards offer many advantages, they have one crucial drawback, fewer keys. The fewer keys on compact keyboards mean that some keys will be missing. Ultimately, this means the smaller the keyboard, the greater the variation in design is likely to be. Some compact keyboards omit the 17-number pad keys on the right of a typical keyboard. Somewhat misleadingly, these are referred to as 10 keyless keyboards. However, unless you work with numbers a lot, many of these missing keys can be found elsewhere on the board. 60% keyboards are more compact still and typically measure only 11.5 inches 29 centimeters by 4.25 inches 10.75 centimeters. Because of this, they can have significant variations in the layout of keys from model to model. Other designs may have as many as 63 keys laid out in various configurations. However, Many other variants of 60% keyboards are available to consumers today. Some of these don't have arrow keys, while others do. So, if you want to buy a 60% keyboard and you use arrow keys a lot, consider a model that comes with dedicated arrow keys out of the box. However, while using arrow keys with dedicated function keys might seem like the ideal solution, also look into the placement and size of the arrow keys on any model you're considering buying. If arrow keys are inconveniently placed, or too small, a keyboard with arrow keys may not offer much of an advantage after all. That said, there are still some fantastic compact keyboards out there that come with arrow keys. Be aware, though, that you may have to pay a premium for a top-of-the-line item that combines the advantages of a compact layout with well-placed and fully functional arrow keys. If you decide to go with a compact keyboard that doesn't have dedicated arrow keys or already have such a keyboard, you'll have to look into other ways of using arrow keys. We'll look at some of these options in the following sections. The space limitations of 60% keyboards mean that designers often have to make crucial trade-offs in deciding which keys to keep and which to omit. Many manufacturers don't find room in their layouts for dedicated arrow keys. However, moving a cursor is an essential computing task for many applications and interfaces, and all manufacturers will have viable solutions for generating arrow keystrokes via their keyboards, even if they don't include dedicated arrow keys in their layout design. Dual function keys are individual keys that perform two separate functions or register two different keystrokes depending on how they're engaged. Such a dual function mode goes by different names depending on the manufacturer involved. Tap mode is one particular instance of such an implementation. In this case, engaging the tap mode on the keyboard enables specific keys to double up as arrow keys, and it can be initiated via manufacturer-provided software.